Last time, one of my Dumbo Air female guppy gave birth to 26 baby guppies and we transfer all of them outdoor to grow fast. One month after, all the baby guppies are now juveniles. And today, we are going to separate the males and the females. But before that, let's feed our guppies first with high protein pellets for breakfast. By the way, I'm so sorry that we can't see the guppies clearly because I decided to put some shed for my outdoor tubs to protect them from heavy sunlight and rain. Anyway, I will be using my viewing tank and net to catch all of the guppies from the tub so we can see the guppies properly. After catching all the guppies, I count them and there are still 26 juvenile guppies, which means not even one guppy died and I'm so happy for it. So now we will select all the males in this tank and there are two ways to tell whether a juvenile guppy is a male or a female. First, Dumbo Air male guppies have larger and darker pectoral fin than females. For example, these are adult males, and we can see the large dumbo ear feature, which means this guppy might be a male. Second, male guppies have gonopodium. It's a male anal fin used to mate with female guppies, and it's 100% accurate for sexing guppies. At this age, some juvenile guppies also start to develop Dark gray bead spot, which means if they lack gonopodium but gray bead spot is present, then 100% female. I took a plastic container tub and add water from the main tub to place all the males I already selected from the main tank. So last week, I prepared a tub for them and you can see white chemicals already floating so I decided to scoop all the chemicals out before transferring the male guppies. As usual, I took some guppy grass plants from the other tub and put it on the new tub. I only put small amount because they are super easy to grow. While preparing the tub, I noticed a small frog sneaking on my guppies and trying to eat them so I immediately take the tub right away. Poor frog, he can't eat my guppies. By the way, there are 14 male juvenile guppies and before releasing them to the tub, it is necessary to acclimate them for 10 minutes to avoid water shock. Next time I will update about these guppies and hopefully they will develop very well. <laughs> 